Hey, happy Friday to you, everybody. I'm so glad you joined me today. We are at the end of the work week, and here we are with yet another edition, a Friday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. And I'm glad that you have tuned in today. I want to take a look at a scripture. Uh, It's a few verses. It's kind of a story uh, that that is told of Jesus when he uh, healed a lame man. But before the miracle took place, uh, there is some dialogue between Jesus and this man that I think is a good lesson for us to learn as we go into the weekend here today. Let me show you what I mean, okay? Take a look at the screen. We are in John chapter 5, beginning in verse 1. And we'll go to verse 6. It says, Afterward, Jesus returned to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish holy days. Inside the city, near the sheep gate, was the pool of Bethesda with five covered porches. Crowds of sick people, blind, lame, or paralyzed, lay on the porches. One of the men lying there had been sick for 38 years. When Jesus saw him, and knew he had been ill for a long time, he asked him, Would you like to get well? Now, for some of us reading that, we might think, well, Jesus, of course he wants to get well. The guy's been crippled for 38 years. Why why wouldn't he want to get well? But, But remember, Jesus... Jesus never wasted any words with anybody when he was alive. I think this is an important question for Jesus to ask this man. And I think it's an important question for Jesus to ask all of us today. Do we want to get well? Okay, obviously the man's condition, uh, he was crippled. He had uh, some some. Uh, some type of ailment that kept him from being able to walk. He was paralyzed, okay? But sometimes I think Jesus looks at us and and parts of our walk with God are a little bit crippled. They're not what they should be. Or or maybe we've been damaged a little bit because of our past or we face some kind of trauma. or, or And again, I'm not minimizing any of that, okay? But here's what happens, and hear me, okay? Sometimes we think our identity is being crippled. We think our identity is being not the best Christian. We think our identity is being that person that went through a tough time years ago. That's not your identity. Your identity is what Jesus thinks of you, and he demonstrated that when he died on the cross for you before you even accepted him. That's your identity. You're not, you're not damaged goods to the Lord. You're anything but that. The question is, do we want to get well? If we're lacking somehow spiritually, okay, do we want to get well? Or are we content with the way things are right now? If we're hurting emotionally, Have we gotten so used to it, maybe 38 years worth of it, that we think that there's no way for us to change? 5 p.m. And there's no way, (laughs) it's 5 p.m. And there's no way for us to ever, ever get past this. Well, Jesus is coming by today. And he has a question for you. Do you want to get well? If the answer is yes, then I can promise you that Jesus has every intention of healing you, restoring you, bringing life to you, making you a stronger person. He wants to do that and and even more because there's no way he wants to leave you lying by that pool, miserable for the rest of your life. As we go into the weekend, undoubtedly something might come up that we're reminded, you know what, this really isn't where I should be spiritually. This is not the way that I should be feeling So Jesus would ask, okay, I agree with you. Do you want to get well? And if the answer is yes, then let's do what Jesus says. Let's allow him 
to heal us and restore us and strengthen us because I promise you, he will not force anything on us. He will do what we allow him to do. So open up that door to your heart and let Jesus do the work that needs to be done to give you his absolute best in your life. Amen? All right. Love you. I pray you have a good weekend. I'll talk to you again later. Bye-bye.